Hello friends, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here, and welcome, welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 23, actually, on FIFA 23. So uh, I feel like, I mean, as it's Sunday as well, all the stars are aligning. Let's go for a huge like target at the very start of this episode. Would you like a double upload today? Well, if you would, let's go for 5,000 likes by 6 p.m., all right? If I see that, then you'll, you'll get your double upload later on tonight. So really go ham on that thumbs up button. Please support the series. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. So we have got a real bumper episode today because there's just a whole lot going on. Not only are you going to see this new team in action in Division Rivals, you're also going to see it in Foot Champions. You're going to see a Silver Squad going and unlocking the new Silver Stars. There's going to be SBC packs. There's going to be objective packs. Like I said, I think we're pretty much touching on every single part of Ultimate Team today. So I do hope you enjoy. All right. So, some of the players sold that I had listed up on the market, a.k.a. Gerard Moreno, David De Gea, you know, players that weren't needed anymore or that I had packed and stuff like that. We're into a few games of Rivals. These will be, like, just, just my first three games of Rivals for, uh, for the week um, because, obviously, it is a new week of Rivals and I want to try and get three wins on the board at least so that after the weekend league, we can focus on getting um, five more to get our, our eight. <clears throat> and, well, of course, this is the first outing for my nearly full special team, and I think that's probably part of the title. Um, my nearly full special team, it, it would be, and I think it certainly could be a full special team if I really wanted it to be, but um, at the moment, we've got three gold players, and they're players that I've actually bought for the squad, aren't they? So, um, yeah, I think I could... I could certainly put money in different areas and make this a full special 11, uh, which I haven't really yet seen on, on FIFA, a little bit of a rainbow squad type thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking how the team is faring. You know, we get a 3-0 rage quit in game number one, which takes me to that final checkpoint of Division 6. Um, and I do believe puts me on a hot streak, I think. Next game, though... Ronaldo. Uh, we all know with an architect, the regular gold Ronaldo is lengthy. Um, there's been some chatter about maybe his rule breaker not being lengthy. Is that a possibility? Because maybe they've given him some dribbling stats or something. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter because, you know, I'm 2-0 up after nine minutes. Something about this team, uh, stats-wise, everywhere is pretty good. I'd say Mares is probably the weak link, but actually he does an all right job himself. Um, and yeah, just generally got some great players all over the park. Uh, press on possession loss, pressure on possession loss, whatever it is, uh, use it. Like I'm going to moan about this throughout the weekend league because it's doing my head in. Uh, it's ridiculous how useful it is. Um, the high pressure basically just... I haven't found like a major negative for it because of course you get five subs this year, right? You can make you can make five changes to your team. That's that's half of your outfield players, uh, ignoring the goalkeeper. Um, you can take off and, and switch with somebody else during the game. So uh, having high pressure and stuff like throughout the game really makes it difficult for your opponent to pass around and stuff and and get a foot in the game. And then if people get a bit tired, well, you just switch them out for, you know, have some good substitutes on your bench. Uh, and, and this is something that we've found out in real football in, in like the EFL, you know. Uh, Ipswich Town, my, fo my football team, we're finding that having five substitutes and having stacked subs bench, like really high quality players, it's almost like a position in itself. You are that super sub you know, that's going to light the game on fire when your opponent's team is tired. So, yeah, that's... I think it's just as important on FIFA, actually, um, to have those subs in in your arsenal. So, three games, three wins, three rage quits. Hot streak, Division 5. Uh, you know, we're just on a roll. So, whilst we're on a roll, whilst we're on a roll I thought to myself, well, I'm going to stop there. What an idiot. I should have just played on. I probably could have got my eight wins for the week. Um, but I moved over to marquee matchups, uh, and I'm pretty sure 
that anything you see from packs here is still going to be... Because I probably did these on Thursday night. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm sure if, if there's anyone here that is currently a rule breaker, don't worry, I'm not... I'm not in uh, in need of compensation. I just opened it before the promo uh, started. Um, the only other thing I would say is that we were chatting the other day and, and I packed from one of those FUT22 objective packs. I got a Zambo Nguisa, uh, who I got a gold version when he was supposed to be a special version. Now, we worked out that I probably would be deserving of some form of compensation. I haven't seen it yet. But that compensation might not be the special version of Zambo and Guisa. It might well just be uh, that pack again corrected. So probably going to end up getting not really much from it, am I? But uh, yeah, so the one time that I actually am due compensation, I'm not going to get the special card for it. Unless they... It's just the wording of it sounded a bit... Oh my god, walk out! It is going to be Verratti. Not bad from marquee matchups. 15,000 coins worth of player right there. We'll certainly take it. Got great dribbling, but he's just so small that there's just not a lot of pace there, is there? Great dribbling, fantastic passing. Hey, give him some sort of special card on this game, and I bet he'll be very, very good. Um, Going to take a sip of uh, honey and lemon now. We get... um, Oh, that is strong today. And I've just brushed my teeth, so it's like it's like drinking a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice just after you brush your teeth. It's never fun. Um, anyway, up to <clears throat> eighty-two thousand coins after selling him. So we've got the players that we've got in our squad. You know, Kyle Walker is the most expensive of them, and eighty-two thousand coins. Here's a little bit of Silver Stars action, uh, whereby I also I brought on... I've, I've been bringing on my two silver special items that we've got currently, uh, which is... God, I can't remember the names. One of them is Talas Magno, um, who, yeah, is, is very, very good, obviously. Been using my Ipswich team, but then just making a few substitutions along the way. Um... So still very much trying to get goals with the boys. Like Wesley Burns, what are you doing? That is that is a filthy goal. That is someone that has the outside of the boot trait. That is for sure. And I love that celebration as well um, with with the fellow lads. But yeah, 4-1. Looking good. Got a rage quit. I'm only going to show you the, the clip from one game right there. Um, I think I quit a couple. So I'll quit, you know, like golden goal style. If someone goes 1-0 up, uh, I tend to quit. And then... They don't do that against me, so we just play on, get all the goals and stuff that we need, focus on getting the three wins, uh, and then another Silver Stars is unlocked. So well done to the Ipswich Town boys on getting them unlocked, and Talas Magno, of course, as well. Is the other one called Richie? I think it is. I've just remembered. Um, but we're at that point in the season where I've unlocked myself a rare Electrum, and by way of playing those games with the Silver players... I also finish the Silver Squad Mastery, which means I not only get a 25k pack, I get a 50k pack as well. Sorry, I was trying to clear my throat because I realised the voice comes back a bit if I clear it. Um, so yeah, I mean, out of nowhere, I just ended up with like 100k's worth of packs to open. Pretty nice. Um, get Koke from the, from the little two-player pack. Time to go into a premium gold players pack now. Anything good? Anything spicy? No, not even boards. Um, just going to be a Renan Lodi. Who, I mean, if he got a special card throughout this year, I imagine would be quite good being in the Prem now for Nottingham Forest. Uh, and then next up, we have boards, I think. It's going to be Carvajal. 84 overall rated. It's not bad, but it's certainly not the major player that you're looking for from a rare Electrum. Um, and there was a duplicate Chuamini there, unfortunately untradeable. So he got discarded, and then the 50k pack offers out an 84 Chiesa. I think someone that was fairly expensive at the very start of the game. I would imagine he's probably dropped quite a bit now. 
like the likes of uh, Diaby and Correa, you know, those players that were 20K that probably aren't now. I would imagine that Chiesa is up there with one of those. But a very nice first owner from Serie A and actually someone that we could potentially even try and fit in the squad at some point, maybe even on the bench or something. Uh, so, yeah, three silver special items now in my club and we're golden. So we go back to the regular team, the nearly full special squad on FIFA 23. Have you seen a full special squad yet, though? Curious. Maybe I should uh, buy a couple of informs or something for the squad. Make it make it so. Uh, but into the weekend league we go. And I don't, none of you are going to believe this. First game, I get to this point right here. Kick off. Phone call. iPhone starts ringing. It says doctors. And that... I was sort of expecting a call from the doctors regarding like my voice and stuff, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, so I had to pick up the phone. So I was on, you know, speaker, chatting with the doctor, uh, and I just couldn't concentrate because I was desperately trying to like listen to them, make sure that I was doing all the right things and stuff. Um, and yeah, my opponent just battered me in the meantime. Like I, tr I was trying, but I was also like, my main focus was on a phone call. Um, so at this point I was like, well, I guess the first games in the bin, uh, we're going to start this weekend with a, with a loss. Uh, and I mean, I could just be making all of that up. I'm not, but I could just be, I guess. Depends if you're going to believe me or not. But in the second half, I was no longer on the telephone and I do win the second half, but do I win the game? Well, I go one goal there, one goal up. If we're counting the, the game as, as two halves, he's equalised to make it one all. I've then whipped a the ball in to Savio. Oh, good save. But we can end up getting that ball back into... Who was that? Ben Yadda. What a goal, mate. Um, yeah, so I win the second half. I lose the game. It is what it is. I would have... Uh, it would be nice to have gone back and tried that one right from the start without having something else on my mind but you know take the loss i'm gonna take a bunch of losses this weekend i so i'm not gonna not gonna be too bothered about it and we go on in to game number two he did have a nice squad uh i think still in the weekend league basically everyone's got a really nice squad uh these are the creme de la creme of fifa players of course uh, that have qualified their way into the weekend league um he equalizes I then score a really skillful goal that nobody can do on this game. Uh, oh, wait. Absolutely everyone's doing it, and I am abusing it. Sorry. Go 2-1 up. It's the weekend league. I don't care. Anything counts. Anything goes. Um, and then he makes it 2 all. Yeah, the little sweat across from Salah to Govu. Uh, and I'll tell you what happened here. I went 3-2 down because he just applied the pressure. He went on constant pressure or pressure on possession loss or whatever it is. Um, and it changed the game for him. Luckily, I make a game momentum switching save from a penalty right there, and I do the exact same thing, go on high pressure, really try and throw it at him, and end up getting that goal back to send us to extra time. 88th minute, Dan Juma, the boy, gets me the goal. So into extra time we go. What are we going to do from this corner then? We knock it out. Uh, that's pretty poor. We've won it back with Kessier into Werner. Little roulette past the defender. What, what, a, what a perfectly timed skill move and a lovely, lovely accurate shot there from Timo Werner the burner. Gets me the win. So, yeah, I'm not starting Norton 2 this week, uh, which is good. We get our first victory and head on into the final game of the episode. I just wanted, wanted to play my first three Mbappe and special Aubameyang up front. I was guessing this was going to be a particularly rough match. But I get the first goal on the counter, I must say. And then we uh, actually got a bit of a foot in it and uh, went on the next attack. Got another goal. I'm just classed like that. Uh, and he quits at 2-0. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. Um, just with the level of his squad, I, I thought he'd probably hang about and try and get back into it. As you can see, he still had more shots than me in the game. But, uh, yeah, nice quick rage quit. You don't often see them. So I was a particularly happy man. Two and one, turned it around. Um, 
if we do get a double upload later on tonight, you're going to be seeing these boys play the midsection of the weekend league. And that is a notoriously difficult place to be. It's a struggle, I'll be real. Um, really liking Ben Asa so far. Bazoa's pretty good as well. Mares a little bit meh, as you can see by the stats. Rashford's doing well. I mean, <laughs> his stats are heavily skewed by squad battles. And then Ben Yedda's doing all right as well. He just doesn't quite have that, like, oomph in the pace, which kind of sucks. Anyway, as you can tell, my voice is tired. I'm going to go and rest it. Do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button. Like I said, 5K likes by 6 p.m. And you'll have that double upload over at 8 o'clock here on the channel. So check back for that. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here. Cheers. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of that stuff down below. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back again later because I trust that you will reach that like target. And I'll see you then. Peace.